to another video. Now, this time around, we're going to be reading a book called Formidable Sid. So look, there's lots of animals around. And let's see and figure out what is in this box. It says animal in transit, danger, caution, caution, do not touch. So let's see, who is Formidable Sid? Animal in transit. Formidable Sid. It was Monday morning and Mr. Garcia had gathered Willow class on the carpet for some exciting news. Next week, we're going to be celebrating Pet Day, he said with a big smile. Each of you is allowed to bring in one of your pets from home, he said. I wonder what a special animal we'll get to meet. As the week went on, the children excitedly told each other all about their pets. My cat is so fierce, said Sasha. You'll have to be careful of his really sharp claws. Oh no, that's nothing, said Violet. My pet, Sid, is much fiercer than your cat. His claws are as long and as sharp as a tiger's. What will they even be thinking? I love my horse, said Damien. She's so big and strong. That's nothing, said Violet. My pet Sid is much bigger and stronger than your horse. He could crush a car with his paws. Oh, I think Damien thinks it well, might be a bear. My dog is so messy, said Thea. Her face gets all covered in food when she eats her dinner. <gasps> That's nothing, said Violet. My pet Sid is much messier than your dog. He looks and smells like he lives in a swamp. Oh no, look, a swamp monster. Wait until you get my pet, uh, wait until you meet my pet Turtus, said Riley. He's so greedy, he eats a whole cabbage by himself every day. That's nothing, said Violet. My pet Sid is much greedier than your Turtus. His giant teeth chomp, eh, chomp through 20 boulders a day. Oh no, is there a pet that eats boulders? There's a huge rocks. <coughs> the days passed and as pet day started to get closer, the children worried about what terrible creature Violet would bring to school. I hear Sid is as big as a house, said Jamal. <coughs> I heard he hides under your bed waiting to eat your eat you for dinner, said Chloe. That's not true. I heard even Mr. Garcia is afraid of him, said Sarah. <laughs> even the teachers were talking about Sid. I heard he has eyes that glow in the dark, said Miss Murphy. Oh no. <laughs> it was finally pet day, and even though the children couldn't wait to show off their own pets, all any of them could talk about was Violet's mystery monster. What if he knocks the school down, said Lee. What if he eats all of our lunches, said Charlie. What if he eats all of our teachers, said Maya. <coughs> Mr. Garcia pulled everyone into the classroom. Where's Violet, asked Enzo. I hope Sid hasn't gobbled her up. <coughs> Just then, Violet stomped proudly into the classroom. Everyone gathered at the door, desperate to see what kind of creature was following behind her. They waited and suddenly Peter cried, I think I can see him. Violet's mom followed behind, carrying a terrifying, hideous, monstrous, <coughs> adorable, fluffy bunny. Very strange. There he goes. That was a bunny. Now, was it true that he can gobble up some stones? No, all of the things that Violet was talking about were not true. It's not as big as a house. It cannot, it cannot put together, it cannot crush the cars and it does not gobble up stones. Violet was just trying to pull a prank on everybody. She was telling a joke. So, did you enjoy the story? Well, I would really like to know, so please tell me in our next class, in the next Zoom class, which is on, which is on Wednesday. Talk to you later. Bye, kids.